Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at the toggle switches on the Verbal Throttle. Now there are two types of toggle switches on the Verbal Throttle. Uh, toggle 4, 5 and 6 operate the way you think a normal toggle would work. It's got a center position which is neither function, neither button, press and you've, you can push it back or push it forward and that will operate two different logical buttons. Now that's the logical buttons that are sent to Windows in this column. Now the other ones operate differently. And I'll just show you what I mean now. So I'm going to look at T2 as it is. Now if I want to use bindings on T2 for example on DCS, I'll just drag DCS over. Okay, so here is our VPC throttle and let's say I want the down switch. So I'm just going to add a function. And now I flick the switch down. So T, T2 has been depressed down in the down position and it sends out joy button 32. So say for example I wanted to use the other position, the up position on it. And I flick it up and it still sends 32. And the reason being is because the way this has been configured in the configuration software here for the throttle is it's a different mode. If you notice all the rest of these are set to normal and the operational mode here on this particular one is set to switch and actually has a little uh, delay function here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that. We're going to split this button 32 into two separate functions. So right now um, if I want to change this I just double click here. So button 32, physical button 28. I take this drop down, set it to normal. I'm going to set the delay to zero and save. And notice immediately it's changed to not in, not sync because it's changed modes. If I scroll down, now what I do is I find an unused logical button here, and the first one up is number 82. Double click on it, and I'm going to change the physical button to 29. That's the other position of the toggle switch because it's going between 28 and 29. Leave it at normal, hit save. Now before I go any further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and close DCS. Because if I try to fiddle with this and click this button here, this save device profile where DCS is running, it is not going to like it. So I'm just going to close down DCS. Okay, so. DCS is done. Closed it down. Now I'm going to do save device profile. So it saves it and as before it automatically loads it back in. And that's us. Now remember this is physical button this section here. So right now the T2 switch is forward. Switch it back 29. So it's still toggling the way it, it always did. You can see it toggling there. So, just give me a second and I will go and restart DCS. Okay, so DCS is back up and running. We're in the uh, key bindings configuration for the MI8. If I slide it over and go to my purple throttle. Just double clicking to add a binding. I click the joystick, or the uh, joystick button forward. Now it's joystick button 82, that's the forward position. Go for this binding, and I switch it back, and now it fires out the original joy button 32. So what we've done now is we, we split T2 out into two separate basic but, different button presses, which means we can use it, it's probably a bit more usable now, and at least DCS can react differently. Now we've still got two left up here. Uh, with these other two switches. So if you wanted to, to basically split them out, you just basically follow the exact procedure I just did. And go down to the bottom, get the alternate uh, physical button, right? Remember physical buttons, this bit here. Add it in here and um, set it as type normal. And then just save back to the, uh, the actual joystick. That's basically what this button does. It saves the configuration back to the joystick. But as a, as 
as I've stated already, you're better not having the program run because DCS did not like it. Whenever I earlier on when I tried to collect the uh, save device profile, basically made the joystick disappear from DCS. So that's it. That's how you handle changing the configuration of the uh, toggle switches.